guys, it's Laura here, and guess what we're talking about today? We are talking about creating kindness on purpose. So in my book, Kindness on Purpose, there's a page, and it is about a pinata. So I watercolored a pinata, turned it into the illustration, and it says, be full of surprises. And I think this is really important because Part of spreading kindness like authentically is being your true self. And we are all full of like so much magic and so many different things that make us unique and special and magnificent and fantastic and creative and strong. And all of those things put together make us a surprise. So we are gonna actually make a pinata today out of a little sack. These are awesome because you get these like when you go shopping. If you get carry out from a restaurant, sometimes they'll put them in a bag like this hang on, the grocery store, hang on to these bags because you can turn them into pinatas and you can fill them with goodies. So that's so much fun. This one is five and a half inches wide. So we're gonna do a five and a half inch wide pinata. You would use different materials and different papers based on how big your bag was, but we're gonna be doing one with a small bag. It's gonna look kind of like this, kind of like this. Aren't they so cute? But we're gonna do a little twist on it. We're gonna do it like a pumpkin. We're gonna make a pumpkin pinata because Halloween is coming up. If you're watching this video at a different time of year, you could do it using the colors for any holiday or any celebration to match a theme or a party or a certain festivity, a graduation colors, any kind of pinata like you want. There are no rules to making pinatas. And you are gonna find out how easy it is to do using one simple adhesive, ThermoWeb makes this amazing easy tear tape. I love it. It's two-sided tape that's like super, super duper great because like it works, like it holds your stuff together and that matters. So that's what we're going to use to make our pinata and yeah, let's make one. Let's do it. All right. So we have all of our supplies. We have our bag. We have our paper. I cut it the width already. Um, of the bag, so five and a half inches and three inches deep. You could do these lots of different ways depending on what size your bag is, but that's what's gonna work for me. I did all orange because I'm creating a pumpkin. We've got Google eyes, we've got some green raffia, we've got an extra piece of brown paper here because I'm gonna make a little stem for my pumpkin. And then we've got a Sharpie marker, a pair of scissors, um, and the easy tear tape that I love. So let's get started. I'm gonna move all of these off my bag. And the first thing to do is to get the Easy Tear Tape out of its package and it's two-sided. So we're gonna just go ahead and apply a piece of the tape across the top for the top piece of our pinata. And then we're gonna go down about an inch and a half to an inch and kind of eyeball it. And we're gonna do the same thing there and we're gonna do that all the way down the bag. So you can fit five or six pieces to a bag just depending on how far apart you put them. I'm gonna do five here. Um, even if you get down to the bottom and you're thinking, gosh, my strip is gonna hang off, that's okay. It is, but we're gonna fix that. There's a, a thing we're gonna do that you're gonna love that makes it even cuter that fixes that. So I'm gonna make sure that my tape is really stuck on the bag here and flatten it all out. And then I'm gonna peel off the pieces of, um, the top pieces of, of the tape. And it's gonna reveal the sticky adhesive. Isn't that so cool? So I'm gonna peel all those off. And if it doesn't come up, you might just have to kind of like press it down a little bit harder to make sure that it's stuck to your bag. There we go. Two more to go. And then we're gonna start working with our colored orange colored paper. So I'm gonna push this out of the way for a minute. And I'm gonna bring in my orange paper. So I have six pieces. I only am gonna need five. I'm not gonna use one of these. I'm gonna use these five. So I'm gonna figure out what order I want them in. So I'm gonna do them like that. Yeah, I think that's gonna look good. And I'm gonna put them all together in a stack because I want them to be fringy. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut them all at once and I'm gonna leave a little bit of room at the top, like a half an inch. I'm cutting these strips about a quarter of an inch apart. You could do them wider. If you're doing this with kids, I would suggest you have them do them more of like a half an inch to an inch apart, just so they don't accidentally cut them all the way off when they get too close. And we're gonna do that all the way from one end to the other. They don't have to be perfect. You can see my paper sliding, that's okay. I'm just gonna line it back up to get these last couple of snips in. And then I'm ready to take these papers and put them on my bag. I'm gonna flip them over because this was my top one. 
look at that's two-sided paper. It could be red. You could use it for Christmas too. Um, and we're going to put that right, actually we're going to start at the bottom. So we're going to put this one on first and kind of just press it on. We're going to do the same thing five times on our bag. And then we're going to turn this fringe into like some curly pinata fringe. It's going to be so fun and so cute. So there we go. There's all of our different colors stuck on. And I'm just going to use a Sharpie marker here to curl my different, um, and I'm kind of bending with my hands too, my different colors here. And then you can crinkle it up as well just to get it even more curly. And I'm going to do the same thing on all five rows. Okay, now we're on the bottom row. This row is really important because you want to make sure that you are curling all the way up to where you can see the bottom of the bag. That way when you set the bag down, your fringe is not hanging lower than the bag and your bag won't sit right if you're planning on um, setting it down on a surface. These are really cute when they're all lined up like as little gifties or a little... Um, little like party favor bags. All right, so there we go. We've got it all fringed and the next step is going to be to add our, um, our Google Eyes, our stem and our raffia. So I just have a piece of brown paper here. I'm going to use my two-sided tape here, the, um, this easy tear tape. I'm going to grab a little piece and I'm going to put it on the inside of one side here because I want to make kind of like a little loop. So this is going to give me that that like loopish look. And then I'm going to grab another piece because I want to tape it to the inside of the bag. So there, I'm going to put another piece right here and peel it. And then I'm going to stick this right inside my bag. Bam! So cute already. And then I need two little pieces to put my little eyes on. I'm all about the Google eyes or the eyes when you like decorate cookies, little candy eyes. I think they give things so much more a little personality. So I'm going to go ahead and put my two-sided tape here in two places for my eyes. And then I'm going to peel off that top layer again. Let me get that off so that I can put the eyes in place. There we go. And here are our two eyes. Oh my gosh, he's so stinking adorable. And now I'm going to add some green. So I'm just going to cut it like wherever it is. And that's going to be a whole bunch of it. And then I'm going to find the two ends and have them meet and find the other end and loop it around. So I've got like four pieces here, which is awesome. And then I'm going to hook that through the handle of the bag and tie a knot. You can either do bows or knots or whatever. I'm just going to do a double knot here. And then I'm going to slide this down and I'm going to trim it. Because I just want it to look kind of like pumpkin vines or something. All right, look at that, it's so cute. And we can stuff it with all kinds of goodies and create a kindness pinata. I love it. And if you um, don't know Alicia McDaniel, she's on Instagram. I'm gonna put her um, a link to her Instagram account here in the description. She has made over 200 porch pinatas. She actually uses really real like big pinatas and she fills them up with stuff for people who who are sick or just need some support or need extra kindness. She's amazing. She's 100% my inspiration for this page in my book, Be Full of Surprises. In the book on the other side over here, there's a bunch of other ideas for pinatas too, but you'd have to get the book to find out what all of those are. So there you go. Super cute, right? All right, guys, isn't it so stinking adorable? It is a pumpkin pinata. I'm gonna stuff it with some goodies for a family I know that is struggling right now with remote learning and trying to balance that with working from home. So I've got some little crackers and peanut butter and jelly because the one little guy loves that. And the little brother likes Fruit Loops, so I've got a little snack for him. I've got a family game, LCR, that they can play that doesn't take very long for taking little breaks together. I've got some bubble gum because everyone needs bubble gum. 
The dad is really healthy, so I've got a cliff bar, and I'm also going to give them a pack of my Sprinkle Kindness Lunchbox Notes. So the Sprinkle Kindness Lunchbox Notes match the stuff that's in my book. I'm going to make sure there's a link to buy the book in the description above, and take a minute to um, ring the bell, to subscribe to this channel so you know when I have new videos, to like this video, and to comment, and let me know what you would want in your pinata. If you make a pinata for me, I would want... A gift card to Starbucks, a new Ray Dunn coffee mug to go with my other 35, and I have a pretty crazy addiction to decorative fun cocktail napkins. So now you know that about me. All right, bye guys.